Reggie, to me, he wasn't just a fan. Reggie was University of Detroit, and Reggie still is University of Detroit. And um, just tell you, one day we played Butler at home. We had a, because a 30-some game winning streak going on, and our team was kind of struggling. And, you know, I kind of walked out of the huddle, and I'm looking around, and I looked up in the upper corner, and I seen Reggie over in Reggie's corner, and he pumped both his hands. He had his hat on. His hat was kind of tilted. And he, oh, he looked at me. We got in contact with each other. And he had both his hands together and pulled his fists together. And he, come on. His hat fell off. He's like, let's go, let's go. Come on. And I'm looking like, wow. And I mean, he gave me so much energy and got me going to where we got the team going. And, you know, we overcame the situation. And I mean, Reggie will surely be missed. I mean, by me, he's always have a place in my heart. And, you know, I've seen him when we was on the, um, on our way back from, you know, we lost to Vanderbilt. And, you know, me and him was walking in the airport and he said, Jermaine, don't worry about it. Just get ready for the next game. Let's get ready. We'll see you. We'll get it together. And Reggie, you're the greatest. I love you. You got a big spot in my heart, my family heart. You're always a Titan. You're my point guard. You're my power forward, my center, my shooting guard. Love you, Reggie. For me, Jermaine Jackson, your greatest fan. Man, Titan Reggie, I'll never forget. January 31st, 2004, UDM Loyola at the Gentile Center in Chicago. Titans and Ramblers. And of course, Reggie's on the road trip. It's a tiny gym. It's like a high school gym. We get completely hosed on a few calls. A terribly officiated game. A game that will go down in Titan lore as the Sid Rota heifer game, because that referee was an absolute clown on that, on that day. And Reggie let him know about it the entire day. Well, fast forward to the end, Paul McMillan, Phantom Fall on Rivon Coville, game goes to overtime, Titans lose. I'm doing the radio, sitting courtside right next to Coach Watson and the staff in that first seat. And out of nowhere, at the end of the game, with everybody screaming at the refs as they're trying to get off the court. And I'm trying to wrap up post game. Here's this giant menacing Titan Reggie over my left shoulder that I'm having to restrain with my left hand as I'm trying to wrap up a broadcast, trying to keep him away from going over the table to get at Sid Rodehef for the referee. That's the kind of passion, that's the kind of crazy at times Titan Reggie had for his UDM Titans. I'm having to restrain him from the officials, but that's what he, that's what, in a, in, in a positive way, without foul language or anything. That's what Reggie, he fought hard for his Titans. And I know he fought hard to the bitter end and we miss him. The kudos and accolades that he's gotten from so many people here in the community, especially here at Titan Territory, uh, since his passing has been tremendous. And I know he'd be very proud of that. Titan Reggie was the man. He really was, and he's missed. And I, I can only end it by saying that for any Titans that are out there, current or uh, down the road Titans, Remember, Reggie would want you to take that ball to the hoop and make those turnovers hurt. Titan Reggie was really important to not only the athletic program here at University of Detroit Mercy, but also the students. He showed us that with determination and drive, you can enter into this university, play a great sports program, and still end up in the community going professional in something other than sports. As a walk-on here at University of Detroit Mercy, he showed us that you can do all of this, and I'm trying as hard as I can to follow in those same footsteps, being a walk-on here myself. Titan Reggie has paved the way for many of us student athletes to lead us in how to live our lives post-graduation, going pro in something other than athletics. Reggie Hall, what can I say? The guy was larger than life. Uh, you know, I thought I had a big smile, but his smile dwarfed mine. And Anytime he interacted with people here, whether a big Titans fan or someone on the road that maybe was cheering for the other team when he traveled with the team and went to all those road games, you know, they knew how special of a guy Reggie Hall was. And recently, you know, I was able to sit down with him and, and bring him on my halftime show for the broadcast. And he decided to impersonate my voice and my radio calls. Can I do your call? You sure can. Splish, splish, I'm taking the bath. You do it better than me. And that was something that uh, I will never forget. And, you know, he's just a, this, this man that I feel like teaches all of us an important lesson that one person truly can affect the world. One person truly can send their love and their, their message and their spirit through everyone else. And while Reggie is no longer with us here on this earth, I know he will be here forever and is a guy that 
through the people that he touched, the literally thousands that he touched. His spirit, his kindness, his love, his passion for the Titans will live on through me and all those other people. Hey, Reg, I hope you're listening. I know you're looking at us, and I know you're hearing us. We miss you, and we love you. You know, the best things I think about you all the time is every time we had a chance to get together, you give me that big bear hug and give me a kiss on the cheek. I was very, very happy to be able to go down to the hospital and give you that same kiss. And all the times that you've been together with us, can't thank you enough. Uh, you're the best. Everybody's going to tell you that. But I always think of when I was sitting on the bench with the guys during the game, if they would have played as hard as you cheered, maybe we could have gone undefeated or won a couple more championships. You're the best. Everybody's going to miss you. We loved your innocence and we loved your courage, something that will never be replaced. You're simply a great friend. You always will be. Uh, we may miss you, but we'll never forget you. We love you, Reg.